Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Welcome guys. So, this is my first ever unboxing on the channel. I'm super excited. You guys can obviously tell by the title what it's gonna be, but let's get right into this. They used like some expensive, expensive glue on this because it's so hard to get off. Woo, okay. First box. Man, he really cuts down on shipping. So if you, for any of you guys that did not know, what I did was I bought this on eBay, right? Yeah, I know, I'm gonna get some hate for that, because eh, eBay, right? So reliable. So, uh, what I did though was I bought everything that I got on eBay, because it was really cheap, a person had a really, really good sale, and um, wow, they really went cheap though. They did not use any styrofoam or anything to keep, like any packing peanuts even, they didn't use anything to keep this safe. So, they just kind of threw everything in there. They threw in um, this, like, charging cable, the four-slot charging uh, wall outlet charger. Now, this you actually have to buy from Iken, uh, like, themselves. This is, like, a $60 thing. So, here's the way it works, because it actually comes with the batteries themselves. When you buy an Iken gimbal, you get three batteries, depending on the gimbal you get, right? Now the stock charger that comes with the gimbal will only charge the batteries up to 80%, which I think is the dumbest thing ever, right? But when you actually get the Iken external charger, this is a separate thing that's like $60 by itself. It's so cool because it actually allows you to charge it up to 100%. I don't agree with their method of doing that because you have to buy a separate thing to allow it to charge up to 100%. I don't agree with that at all but there's nothing I could do about it. So, we got some batteries. My desk is a mess, so. We got the actual external charger. We have a charging or power cable, I believe. Um, well, this is this is what he sent the batteries in. Literally just threw the batteries in here like this. Just popped them in there and shipped them, so. Uh, yeah, that was not very fun or nice, but. I mean, hopefully it works. Let me throw some of this stuff on the ground. And the big thing that was in that box that actually came was the Iken FHS dual handle stabilizer. Or the flex handle stabilizer, sorry. Let me quickly open this bad boy up for you guys because I'm excited to see it just as much as you guys are. So, on the inside guys, sorry, is the shipping briefcase type thing. Let's pop that out. Look at that cute little carrying case. That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. Let's uh, throw this down on the ground. Boom. Whatever. Let's open this bad boy up and uh, see what it's about. Ah. Okay. So, we got the first handle. This is one. This is two. Kind of cool. Um, and I believe he also sent all the grips. I'm not seeing any of the mounts. But he also sent a, um, oh, this is kind of cool. He sent me a tripod, which I guess was supposed to come with it anyway. But he sent that, and I'm not seeing any of the mounts. That's that's all he sent in the box, just those three. That's kind of depressing. I don't know what if I was supposed to get something else. I'm really hoping that I was supposed to get something else, and I'm really hoping he shipped it. Um, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Let me put all this back, guys. And then get on to the next package. Don't mind any background noise. I'm, I'm very sorry, guys. My family just got home. Erg, I can't close it. All right. Now that that's been closed. Also, don't mind the lens. It's kind of annoying. Um, it's very loud and obnoxious. So this is the box that I care about. This big, big, hunky, hunk of thing. Hunk of a thing. So let's crack right into it. Oh, I just stabbed the box on accident. All right, cool. So now we're done with the knife, I believe. We shouldn't have to use it anymore. Close that up. This guy really glued this thing. He taped it and glued it. Jesus. I mean, if you're gonna ship like $900 worth of stuff, I guess you're gonna have to, but Christ almighty. All right. All right, cool. So, that came, right? 
Now here's what we got. We have the Icon DS2A B holder gimbal. This is super, super cool. This is like one of their more expensive ones and one of their better models. Let's crack this bad boy open. I'm gonna show you actually as I open it. I'm pretty sure it's just another briefcase. Oh. Yeah, it is just another briefcase. So let's take this briefcase out. Throw that on the, actually, so we, that's kind of cool. He did provide us with all the, the essential and non-essential, uh, oh, warning label. The Beholder gimbal you have purchased comes from the factory tuned and ready to use. It is not meant to be user serviceable. Accessing and changing firmware settings will void the warranty. Please make sure you have read and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't care. So is there anything good in here though? Anything good I really need to know about? Uh, I guess a little sticky things. Kind of cool. Uh, for the most part, no. So now my ground is a mess. My, my floor is a mess. Let's crack this bad boy open. I'm really hoping there's mounts in here that I can put all this stuff on. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, we have come. We have a couple of things. I'm actually just gonna put this back in here. It looks like it might be missing something. I'm not sure. You guys, if you know DS2As and this, this is what I got, right? Let's face it towards the light. This is what I got. You guys can see right here. This comes out. Look at look at the space it's supposed to take up. I think something else was supposed to be here. So I'm probably gonna go and look up like a, a picture of what was supposed to be in there, but let's take out what I really care about, guys. This is what I really bought this whole thing for. Oh, it's freezing cold, but dang. That is awesome, guys. That is awesome. Can we turn it on? It has. Oh, it vibrated like crazy. I don't think it's at all calibrated, so... Wow, you could see that. Dude, look at that, guys. It's it's definitely doing something. That shook a lot. That vibrated a lot when I turned it on. Yes, I just turned it off, but that is actually really, really cool. It won't go past this point because this lock is here. Oh, there's a lock. It's pretty cool. I never noticed that in the, uh, the reviews. So I'm going to make basically this whole video, either this video or next video. This is probably just going to be my unboxing video, and I'm going to leave it at that, but... Um, yo, is this a Manfrotto plate? No, there's no way. Yeah, I doubt that's a Manfrotto plate. So yeah, guys, that has been my unboxing of the gimbal, the Icon DS2A. Actually, this is my first ever video, by the way, being shot on my Canon 70D. Ooh. So you yeah, guys, like I was trying to say, though, uh, I'm probably going to make another video completely by itself. This has been an unboxing of the Icon DS2A Beholder and the Icon FHS, I believe, the Flex Handle Stabilizer. I'm pretty happy with my purchase so far. I think it's a lot of bang for buck of what I got. And I'm really excited to make another video basically showcasing to you guys the quality of the video, what it does, how good it stabilizes your video, and maybe I'll make a mini film out of it. Maybe I'll make a, a little cinematic shooting film out of it. I'm excited, guys. Be sure to leave me your comments down below thinking, uh, like, was it a good purchase? Do you think it was a good purchase? If not, uh, was it a terrible purchase? Why do you think so? Both of these items are really expensive. Um, the actual gimbal itself is about $500. The FHS uh, flex handle stabilizer is $250. And then the dual batteries are 60 bucks. Like I said, I got it on eBay. I'm not gonna disclose what I got it for on eBay, but I didn't get it for $900. I definitely got it for cheaper, um, but I did get it for a good price. I'll leave it at that. So thank you guys all for watching. It's been Mikey. Peace guys.